So we spent the day rendering lard and making fried pies. And then fried pies were fried in fresh lard. That was really good. Now we're going to start out with five cups of all-purpose flour and I'm just going to put about a tablespoon of sugar in there I'm just going to mix that up together real good five cups of flour is going to make several several fried pies now I'm just going to take about a cup of lard, or if you don't have any lard, you can use shortening. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it up into my flour, and I'm going to cut it up about pea size. But you want to make sure you get your your lard or your shortening incorporated in your flour real good, because that's what gives you the the texture of your your crust. So just work that in there real good. It won't take very long. Now I've got my shortening. I've got it cut in there real good. You see it's like pea-sized pieces. And I've got about a half a cup of uh, evaporated milk. And I'm just going to incorporate, just pull that flour in there to that milk. Just kind of dampen your flour. And I've got an egg. I'm going to put one egg in here. Now this is a little different recipe than my last um, fried pie crust. But the egg makes your crust just a little bit richer. So I'm just going to get that incorporated. Now you will have to add a little more evaporated milk to it. You just kind of get your hand in there and fill your dough and just kindly work it together. Pour you just a little more milk in there. And I just kind of pour my milk to the side and uh, just try to work it in there real good. You can, when you got your hands in there, you can feel the texture more than if you're trying to stir it with a spoon. You don't want to work your dough too much, but you, if you can, like I said, if you can feel the texture of that crust, you can tell, or that dough, you can tell if you're needing a little bit more moisture or if you're not. So I'm just going to work it together till it all comes together. Kind of feels like play dough. Now I would rather have any kind of crust that I'm making. I'd rather have it a little moist than I would too dry. You don't want it just sopping, you know, wet, but you want your crust a little moist. Just keep working that milk in there and that egg in there. Now my other pie crust recipe calls for um, baking powder and salt. This one's not, so it's a little different. It's just a little richer, but both crusts are really good. Um, one of my early videos that i done was making fried pies. And I used the recipe that calls for baking powder and salt. And it, it is. It's a good recipe. Just keep incorporating it till it all comes together. All your dry flour just kind of comes together. Just squish it together. And I wish I could tell you how many fried pies this is going to make. I just can't remember, but it's going to make several. It just depends on what size you make. Now, I'm just going to leave this dough in here. I'm going to let it sit on the counter. Just let it sit and rest for about 10 minutes. Then we'll be back. 
<laughs> I know this doesn't look very appetizing, but what these are, this is, I'm wanting to make some apricot uh, fried pies along with the chocolate fried pies. And these are organic Turkish apricots, and they are so sweet. If you can ever get your hands on these, um, they're organic and just really good. Now, I'm not wanting to make very many. I'll probably make about I don't know, half a dozen apricot pies. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my apricots up in little chunks and I'm just gonna throw them in my pot. We love apricot pies, so um, I cannot remember where I got these at. I'm thinking I was at um, Target or somewhere with my daughter and they have a whole section of organic uh, spices and just different stuff and I just thought it was so neat and I found these Turkish dried apricots and they are really pretty now I got to uh, I think I got about three ounces cut up in there like I said I'm not making a whole bunch of apricot pies I'm making mostly chocolate pies because that's what my kids like and I put about a fourth a cup of sugar in there because these apricots are really sweet already now, if you have some apricots that aren't real sweet, you might want to put at least, you know, about a half a cup. It just depends on how much you're filling you're making. Before my liquor gets too warm, I'm going to put about a teaspoon of flour in here. And this is how I usually make my any kind of pie filling. It just helps thicken it up a little bit. But you want to make sure you put your flour in there when it, your stuff is cold, not hot, because if it's hot, it's gonna lump up. And I'm also gonna put me about, I don't know, a half a teaspoon or so of vanilla. And I'm just gonna let this come to a simmer. I'm gonna stir it up and let it come to a simmer. And it's gonna thicken up by itself. It won't take very long though. And it makes some good feeling. Okay, guys, it's been about 15 minutes. You see how thick it's got. That water cooked down, and I taste it, and it tastes really, it's really good. Like I said, them apricots were already sweet, but now some of them aren't. Okay, we are fixing to make some fried pies. Now, I've got most of my dough rolled out here, but I'm going to show you how, how, I done, how I do this. I just get me a little piece of dough about the size of a, a little bigger than a golf ball. And I take my little rolling pin and I just start from the middle and I just roll out and I turn it as I go. Turn it as I go. Turn it as I go. Till I get to the size that I, that I need. And it just all depends on how big fried pies you want to make. I don't like mine real big. And there you go. That's all there is to it. I'm going to show you how I make my chocolate filling. And this is the old-fashioned way of making chocolate filling for chocolate fried pies. And I think I showed you all this process in my last fried pie video. But I've got a half a cup of softened butter. I've got, I'm going to put two tablespoons of cocoa powder in there. Now, if you like dark chocolate, you can use dark chocolate, you know, cocoa. I'm going to put, to start out with, I'm going to put about a half a cup of powdered sugar. And I'm going to get this incorporated real good before I put any more sugar. Because you want, you want your, your filling to come out smooth. You don't want it lumpy. You might have to spend some time with it and, and stir it real good and get it good and smooth. This stuff is so addictive. It's so good. It makes the best fried pies. And you see how uh, soft that is. Now, I want it thicker than this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another half a cup of powdered sugar in here. I know you're thinking, ooh, this is sweet. Well, it is sweet, but your pie crust is not a sweet crust, so that will make up for it. And you're only going to have about a tablespoon of filling in your in your pie anyways so you see how thick it's getting now that's what you want 
you want that filling to, uh, to come out just a little bit thick. Now, if it's not thick enough for you, sometimes I will stick it in the refrigerator for, I don't know, about 10 minutes, but you don't want to stick it in there any longer than that. It'll get too hard. It'll be like fudge. There you go. Okay, guys, I wanted to show y'all this little contraption that I found for my, helping me because I'm telling you, when you're making fried pies, it is a chore. Instead of using a fork like I've always done, this thing is so neat. You just put your dough over your little mold. And these things are not very expensive. And they got different sizes. And this is my apricot filling. And you want a good, a good tablespoon of filling inside your pie crust. You don't want to put too much. Then you're going to just dab your little fingers in some water and dab it around the crust just like that. About that easy. It's not a hard process, it's just time consuming. And then you fold it over, press it, and uh, just kind of take off your excess dough around the edge. And I'll use that dough. And there you go. Isn't that pretty? I just love them. Like I said, I got different sizes. And it makes the process go a little bit faster. So it was well worth its money. Let's make some more pies. Now I'm using fresh lard. And I mean this is fresh, just rendered lard to fry these pies in. And I usually fry them in a cast iron skillet, but a lot of people don't have cast iron. So I just wanted to show y'all that you can make fried pies in a, what I'm using is an electric skillet. And uh, it does real well because it keeps your, your uh, lard or shortening or oil, whatever, it keeps it at a, at a good temperature, at an even temperature. So it worked out real well. So my pies are done. What I do is I make just a little bit of a really uh, thin glaze, just like you would glaze a donut, and just kind of take my whisk and I just kind of drizzle it over the, the fried pies. You don't want too much, just a little bit, just to sweeten your dough up, just a little, not much. And we're done.